Hi there. In this video, I'm looking at the operations processes, uh, continuing with the transformation processes, so the, the second stage in the um, input transformation output process, uh, and more specifically looking at monitoring, control, and improvement. Uh, so firstly, looking at monitoring now, this is the process of measuring the actual performance against planned performance, and generally done through using key performance indicators, KPIs, benchmarks, a sort of standards. Okay, so if the business says that by the end of 12 months, they will have increased their sales by 5%, which is the planned performance, um, actually looking at, have they actually, you know, done that? What's the actual performance? Did they only uh, increase sales by 4% as opposed to 5 So they need to have a benchmark, some sort of standard, okay, key performance indicator um, that they will measure what they say they will do to what they actually do um, uh, have at the end. Uh, and then we've got control as well. So control occurs when the KPIs are assessed against the predetermined targets. Okay, so um, they're going to increase sales by 5%. Did they actually uh, meet that target? And if not, they're going to take corrective action. So if there's a discrepancy between the performance and goals, they need to make changes, okay, and hopefully improvements. Um, there's no point doing the same thing over and over and over again if it doesn't give you the result you want, okay? It's just, it's just um, uh, you know, that's just ridiculous for a business to waste money and resources doing the same thing over and over again if they're not actually meeting their goals, okay? So once they've monitored what they're doing, Okay. Uh, once they've taken control, they need to then look at the improvements. Okay. So it's the systematic reduction of inefficiencies and wastage. Okay. Um, again, wastage leads to costs. So the less wastage, the less costs are incurred. So by reducing inefficiencies, reducing wastage, by reducing poor work processes, and also eliminating bottlenecks. Okay. Now, a bottleneck is um, an aspect of the transformation process that slows down the overall processing speed. Okay, so um, this, you know, if you're familiar with bottlenecks on roads, okay, you have a lot of cars and then, you know, maybe it's a three-lane road and then all of a sudden it becomes a one-lane road and all those cars in the three lanes slowly go into two lanes, slowly go into one, everything slows down, okay? Much like a um, in the business as well, okay? You might have... Uh, workers at one stage, okay, who are working extremely quickly. However, at the end of the process, there's only one person in, uh, in charge of putting them in boxes. What's that one person going to do when, you know, hundreds of thousands of products get to them and there's only one of them putting in boxes? It slows down the overall processing speed, okay? So the business needs to improve that. They need to find ways of removing that bottleneck, okay? So hiring more people to package the product, or reducing the speed at which it reaches that person to give that person enough time to be able to do their job properly. Um, improvements usually sought in these following areas. Okay, so time, okay, doing doing things quicker, process flows, doing them more, uh, doing them quicker as well. So making sure there's no inefficiencies, improving quality, reducing cost, and increasing efficiency. Okay, now um, there's a, a Japanese concept of uh, the process becoming, um, uh, the setting of the standards become higher and higher and higher each time in order to continuously seek improvement, okay? Um, that's known as Kaizen, um, the Japanese process of setting higher and higher standards because the standards, as they become higher, you seek improvement, set them higher again, you're going to improve more, higher again, you're going to improve further as well. Um, another way of improvement was uh, invented by Motorola in the 90s um, called Six Sigma, or sometimes it's referred to also as Sigma Six. Um, uh, now, I, I created a video for this um, as well from the Year 11 course, uh, which has uh, some websites you can visit about Sigma Six or Six Sigma as well in the description, so feel free to um, look at that. Um, and it follows five steps, okay? Define. So define what you want to do, measure what you're going to do, analyze how you do it, okay, analyze the, the results, improve on it, and then control it, 
okay? Uh, and that's what this process uh, does, okay? As I said, I've already got a video for that. You can feel free to check out. Um, this is the end of this video, and the next video in this HSC series is the final video for processes, which is outputs. Uh, however, I hope this video on monitoring, control, and improvement has been valuable. Thank you.